The epiphany came to me actually after I had spoken at Walker Arts Center in Minneapolis. I thank them for the generosity because Minneapolis and Minneapolis-St. Paul as a community uh, was then and, and remains one of the most generous communities in the country and by extension in the world. We, I mean, we say thank you to the donors of the inst institutions that we like, but the institutions that I don't have any affiliation with or knowledge about, I don't say thank you to those folks. But as a nation, all of these institutions and the donors that support them change the quality of life for our entire country. So I sat down, I said, how do I get this message to President Reagan? He's a brand new president. Um, maybe he's interested, who knows? If I write a letter to the President of the United States, I might as well write to Santa Claus and I would get an answer sooner. Two months later, I was chairing an event in Newport Beach at the John Wayne Tennis Center. It was actually a two-day program on philanthropy. And I had invited Lynn Nofziger, who was President Reagan's chief political advisor in the White House. And I drove him back to the airport at the end of the day. And he turned to me and he said, by the way, Doug, that was an amazing program. That I'm very impressed with this community of yours. If there's anything I can do to be helpful to you, you, you know, you be sure to let me know. Funny you should ask. Can you deliver this to the president? Two weeks later, I'm in the White House. Now, I knew nothing about 35 years of Philanthropy Day at that moment. I only knew that I was being told, you have to get a bill passed through Congress. And I thought, me? I'm supposed to do this? Yes, because the director of the private sector initiatives office, which Reagan had established, much to his credit, was former Congressman Jim Coyne. And he's the man I met with. And he says, all we do here is we cheer you on. If you get it passed, I think I can get the president to sign. It wasn't until Philanthropy Day actually came and and, and I was reflecting on the fact that we actually had this amazing event, that I thought, this could be important. This could be something that would capture the imagination of the American people as well it should.